Welcome back. Conservative watchdog group Judicial Watch is suing the Department of Justice for access to communications related to the unverified anti-Trump dossier. This is the group also uncovers new classified emails sent and received on Hillary Clinton's private email server during her time as Secretary of State. Joining me right now is the president of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton. Tom, it's good to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank T you. Tell us about the lawsuit. What well, are you trying to get? Well, the latest lawsuit's about John Brennan. Uh, according to some liberal reporters who wrote a book late uh, last year or earlier this year, he uh, talked to Harry Reid about the dossier shortly before the election. Harry Reid, the former leading Democrat in the Senate, uh, came away with a distinct impression that Mr. Brennan wanted that dossier out in the public. So Mr. Reid, being the partisan he did, dutifully wrote a letter that became quickly public. And so the leak happened. And we, so we've asked about communications that the CIA and Brennan had with Reid about this dossier. And, of course, we've gotten a stone wall. We're, in, as usual, in federal court over it. Well, you, you've also been able to unearth a lot of documents. Good for you. And, and congratulations on what you've been able to get, because so many of us uh, would not know half of what took place had you not been pushing. Now, the president tweeted this this morning. He says this, no collusion, no obstruction, except by crooked Hillary and the Democrats. All of the resignations and corruption, yet heavily conflicted Bob Mueller refuses to even look in that direction. What about the Brennan, Comey, McCabe, Strzok lies to Congress or crooked emails? Uh, Tom, let me, let me ask you about this because you're also, you have unearthed documents that were on Hillary Clinton's server. What did, what's, why is that important? Well, the government uh, or the State Department is uh, giving, out, giving us records about every month from the Clinton email system that was uh, recovered by the FBI. These are emails that she tried to delete or otherwise hide from the American people. So this is new material, and it includes a classified information, the latest batch. We've had pro previous batches of classified info. We have five new classified emails about Northern Ireland, the Middle East, Kyrgyzstan. And to me, it demonstrates uh, the corruption at the Justice Department currently that is going full bore uh, against President Trump. Uh, with really no evidence while ignoring all of these in-your-face national security crimes and other crimes by Hillary Clinton and her colleagues. Yeah, I mean, can Robert Mueller ignore this while he's doing an investigation with the mandate of looking for collusion? You know, the only person who got money directly from Russia, as far as I could tell, involved in the, who were running for office in 2016 was Hillary Clinton. She and her husband, her husband made a speech in Russia for $500,000 to a firm that was a front for the Russians in Uranium One. Uh, they reportedly received millions as part of an effort to get a good result on that Uranium One decision. And of course, she hires this cutout Fusion GPS who was using supposedly Russian intelligence sources to wander information into the FBI and DOJ. Think about this, Maria. Peter Strzok, who's investigating Hillary Clinton's email abuses, at the same time is working with Hillary Clinton's campaign apparatus to try to take out President Trump, or then-candidate Trump. A a outrageous conflict. And Mueller is conflicted himself because he's using all this material created by Strzok, by Orr, by Steele, by the Clinton DNC dossier. The spy, we haven't even gotten into the spy gate where the FBI slash CIA was going at, uh, sending informants targeting the Trump campaign right. to try to dig up dirt. Yeah, they were, they were sending informants in well before the launch of the investigation, which was July 31 of 2016. But they were uh, informants trying to taunt Trump campaign people way before that. You know, I mean, I, I, we were just talking with John Radcliffe, and there's no surprise or no, no, no coincidence that all of the top leadership or a, a significant amount of the top leadership at the FBI and the DOJ has been fired. Let's go through this. I mean, you've got Andrew McCabe fired for misconduct, criminally referred. You've got Jim Comey fired under investigation. Sally Yates fired. Peter Strzok fired and now under investigation. Bruce Orr demoted under investigation. Right. Three of the five people, we received the FISA warrant applications through another FOIA lawsuit. Three of the five people who signed off on those applications have been fired for misconduct. Two of them remain, Rod Rosenstein, who signed on, presumably for uh, Mr. Mueller. He signed a, he, his at warrant application that Rosenstein signed on for was in June of 2017. 
So this is in the middle of Mueller operation. So these compromised um, documents, these compromised investigative techniques, the FISA warrant, uh, is benefiting the Mueller operation. I, th this is what I want to focus on, because we, we're talking about what went on during the Obama uh, administration and to the beginning of the Trump administration. But all of this is part of Mueller's ball of wax. He needs to be held accountable. And I'd like to see Mr. Mueller on the list of witnesses for Congress. Why isn't he being brought in and asked about wow. how he was hired, the scope of his work, how he administers his office, why he can't find any Republicans to hire? Mm. What was he doing with Peter Strzok that he uh, let him out and then hid that information about the purpose, the reason for letting, uh, kicking, kicking him off his team right. for four months? Yeah. All Basic really good questions. questions, Tom. I know you'll be covering it and we'll be following your work. Great to have you on the program today. Thanks so much, Tom. You're welcome. Tom Fenton joining us.